Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of biology and of course today we are going to be looking at osmosis okay osmosis all right very interesting topic all right so uh uh do not forget that this tutorial of course is brought to you by the O3 schools jam app the one and only jam app best cbt practice app for all students even for your enemies recommend it to them may they come pass okay make only you know go pass alone all right so and of course um do not forget to like this video do not forget to subscribe to this channel and do not forget to keep sharing all right so i'm going to take a question from the old to this school jam app right now concerning this topic okay this is a two, 2023 question number 19 2023 question number 19 they said that uh, osmosis is the movement of water molecules across a semi-permeable membrane from an area of dash concentration you can see it on the board you can see it very clearly uh to an area of dash concentration okay so a they say low and high b high and high c equal and equal d low and low all right so i'm going to see this question and many more at the end of this class if you like no stay to the end of down your business okay so please go and get the app it has all the past questions you need, so you don't need to go and buy past questions outside. It has lecture notes structured according to the jam syllabus, so you don't need to go and buy textbook. It has questions, start feature, where you can start for question according to topics. Okay? And then the question that jam has set under that topic will come out for you to answer. Then also we have the mock challenge every Saturday by 10 a.m. You must join. You must join. Join with your participate with your mates. Okay. Thousands of jam bites every week. Every Saturday, compete on the application, all right? So, you win prizes, apart from winning prizes, all right? Every Saturday, you get used to jam pass questions, all right? You get used to how to answer jam questions, all right? And, of course, you build your confidence toward the main exam. You will see your results released, so you're able to track your progress. So, it is all you need. Please, go and download the app. All this and more for just a little change, all right? Please, focus on passing your exam at once. Let's go to osmosis. And of course, when we talk about diffusion in the last episode, we said diffusion is the movement of what? Molecules, all right? From a region of what? High concentration to a region of low concentration. But osmosis is the reverse, okay? It's the movement of what? Of molecules, all right? From a region of what? Of low concentration, lower concentration to a region of what? High concentration, okay? So this is what osmosis, all right? The movement of what? Uh, molecules from a region of what low concentration to a region of high concentration through a semi-permeable membrane through a semi-permeable membrane okay so that is osmosis the movement of what molecules from a region of low concentration to a region of high concentration through a semi-permeable what membrane all right so of course uh, from uh, okay, I already know that it's low and high now. It's not high and high. It's not high and low. Okay, it's low to high, low to high. That is what osmosis movement of uh, molecules from region of what low concentration to a region of what high concentration through a semi permeable membrane. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to talk about a very very interesting uh, conversation which is called tonicity. Okay, tonicity. Okay, tonicity is the concentration. We call the concentration of a solution as compared to what another solution. Com concentration of a solution, tonicity, is the concentration of a solution as compared to another solution. That is what tonicity is, okay? The concentration of a solution as compared to another word solution, all right? It's just like trying to know what the difference in concentration between two media, okay? Knowing what the difference in concentration between what two word substances, okay, that's what tonicity is. The concentration of a solution as compared to another solution, that is what tonicity is about, okay? Also, you can, just like we'll talk about what, uh, concentration gradient when we talk about diffusion okay tonicity can also be referred to as concentration gradient that's what concentration gradient all right so that is what tonicity all right the uh, concentration of a solution as compared to what to another solution all right that's what to call what the what uh, uh tonicity all right now it is also very important for us to note here, okay, that if the uh, medium, okay, if a medium, all right, is more concentrated than what, than the fluid of a cell, okay, now, if the medium 
if the median is more concentrated, that is, for example, if, for example, it has more solute, more concentrated means it has more solute, okay, than the fluid of the cell. Now, let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. If the uh, medium, if the medium, if the medium is more concentrated, by more concentrated, I mean what has what more solutes, okay, than the fluid, fluid of the cell, okay. If the medium is more concentrated, as that is has more solute than the fluid of the cell, we call that kind of what medium what a what a hypertonic medium, hypertonic. Okay, we call it what hypertonic what medium. Okay, so we say well if the medium is more concentrated, okay, that it has more solute, okay, than the fluid of the cell, we call it what a hypertonic what medium. All right. Now, what happens in this case is that what the water molecules, okay, they will move out of the cell to the surrounding. Okay, so the water molecules will now what move out of the cell to the surrounding. The process whereby those water molecules move out of the cell to the surrounding is called exosmosis. It's called what exosmosis. All right. So please take note of that. So I say that if the medium is more concentrated, okay, more concentrated, that it has me having more solute than the fluid of the cell. We said what it is what an hypertonic what medium, all right. And of course, what happens in that situation is that water molecules move out of the cell, okay, to the surrounding. And that process whereby those water molecules move out of the cell to the surrounding is called exosmosis. Now, also, if the medium is less concentrated, now, if the medium is less concentrated, if the medium, if the medium is less concentrated. That is what having less solute now, having less solute. Okay, what happens now is that now we're not called the kind of what that, that must having less solute than the fluid of the cell. Okay, if the medium is less concentrated, as it have less solute than the fluid of the cell, we call it what an hypotonic what medium, hypotonic. Medium. Okay, we say it is what hypotonic. H y p o t o n i c. We say it is what it is hypotonic. And in this case, what happens now? Water molecules what move from surrounding into the cell. Okay, water molecules in this case here because the medium is more concentrated. Water molecules move out of the cell, and we call that process exosmosis. But in this what uh, so in this what condition, the uh, medium is less concentrated than the fluid of the cell. So water molecules now move into the cell, and the process whereby water molecules move into the cell is called what endosmosis. Okay, that one is called endosmosis. All right, please take note of that. All right, so the, 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 the process whereby water molecules move into the cell from the surrounding is called what endos what moses. All right, please take note of that. So, I talk about hypotonic solution and an exosmosis, hypotonic solution, and endosmosis. And then, lastly, if the medium okay is not more concentrated, maybe the medium and the fluid of the cell are having what equal what concentration. If the medium and what the uh, fluid of the cell are having equal concentration, in this case, nothing happens. We call it what an isotonic medium. Isotonic. Isotonic. In this case, the medium, okay, and the word fluid of the cell, but I have equal concentration. We call it what an isotonic word medium. Now, what happens in this case? Water does not what move at that side. They don't move in or move out. Okay, so we call it an isotonic what medium. Please put those at the word at the back of your mind. So with this knowledge, now we can now redefine osmosis, okay, as the movement of molecules from an hypotonic solution to what to an hypertonic solution through a semi-permeable membrane, okay, from hypotonic to what hypertonic through a semi-permeable membrane. So if you see that definition somewhere, it's also very very valid. All right. So now let's talk quickly see the advantages, okay, or the usefulness of what of osmosis. Number one is that it helps in the absorption of water from the soil into the root hairs. Okay, it helps in the absorption of water from the soil. Number one, it helps in the absorption of water from the soil into the root 
helps. Okay, it helps in the absorption of water. Okay, it helps in the absorption of water from the soil into what into the root hair. Okay, this is what and uh, 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 a usefulness of what of osmosis. Okay, so uh, the the process whereby uh, the the root of plant absorb water from the soil. Okay, that is what by osmosis. Okay, so it's very very useful in that regard. Also, it helps in the opening and closing of the stomata. It helps in the opening and closing of the stomata. Okay, it helps in the opening and closing of the stomata. That's another advantage of the of what of osmosis. Also, it helps in the reabsorption of water into the kidney tubules. Helps in the reabsorption of water. Helps, it helps in the reabsorption of water into the kidney tubules. It helps in the reabsorption of water into the kidney tubules. All right, so this is the third word advantage of what of usefulness of what of osmosis. Say so why it helps in the what, absorption of water from the soil into the root test, it helps in the opening and closing of the stomata, it helps in the reabsorption of water into the kidney to boost. Also, it gives turgidity to both plants and animal cells. Okay, it gives turgidity to both plants and animal cells. Okay, it gives what turgidity to both plants and animal cells. So these are some of the words of the usefulness of what of osmosis. Osmosis is very, very useful. It's very, very useful. Now let me look at what uh, question questions from the O3 School Jump app. Please, if you have not liked the video, like the video now as you're watching. Okay, subscribe to this channel and keep sharing with this video. Now, this biology 2023, number 19. And it said, osmosis. Okay, okay, of course, this is the first question we're trying to consider. They said, osmosis is the movement of water molecules across a semi-permeable membrane from area of what? Low concentration to high concentration. So our answer was about no, option A, low to high. Low to high. Please, let's stick in your memory. Diffusion. Diffusion. Diffusion is what? High to low. <clears throat> then osmosis is low to high. <clears throat> Thank you. Okay, so please must take note of what, of that word difference. All right. So now let's see another question. It's a twenty eighteen question number ten. Which of the following substances passes through the root by osmosis? Okay. Which of the following substances passes through the root by what osmosis? I explained to you that what water. Okay, from the soil. Okay, gets to the root of plant by what by osmosis. Okay. So A they say cell sap. B, they say carbon, carbon dioxide. C, we are told oxygen. D, they say water. And of course, our correct answer will be D, water. All right? So now, uh, dash, this is a 2022 question number 19. 2022 number 19. Okay? So dash is, the, is defined as the movement of water molecules from a region of low concentration to solute to a region of or high concentration of solute through a semi-permeable membrane. Some of you say they don't repeat per question. They don't repeat per question. What is the difference between this question now and that first question we'll look at? Okay, this one, they just changed the question. It's the same question, but they just will change it. Okay, so it's osmosis. Osmosis is the movement of what? Uh, molecules from region of low concentration to the region of high concentration. A, they say osmosis. B, diffusion. C, turgidity. D, flaccidity. Our answer is almost osmosis. Okay, so um, now, this is a 2021 question, number three. 221, number three, they say, one major difference between osmosis and diffusion is that A, they say, does not need a semi-permeable membrane, okay? They say, B, does not take place in living tissues. C, it takes place only in a liquid medium. D, takes place only in gaseous medium. And, of course, A, is that does not need what a semi-permeable membrane. Diffusion does not need a semi-permeable membrane. But, of course, osmosis, in the, in the definition of osmosis, we talk about what? Semi-permeable membrane. We, what, we stated it very, very, very clearly. All right? So, these are some of the questions from the app. There are thousands of other more questions. Go to the app immediately, download, and start practicing today like your life depends on it. My name is Master T. I'll see you in the next episode.